What's going on guys and welcome back for another video here on Marshall Fishing and the beginning of a brand new segment that I'm introducing into the channel. A lot of folks have been asking for more informative kind of content so that is exactly what this is going to be. This is my top five baits for the month of October. <laughs> All right, guys, so to kick this thing off with bait number one, I'm not going to list these in any kind of particular order, so don't think that. Bait number one, I'm going to have to go with a buzz bait of some kind. Buzz baits, they shine, especially in the month of October. Um, I like to find the buzz baits with the biggest blade that I can. They cause a lot of water displacement, a lot of commotion on the top of the water, and um, they kind of bring the attention away from the shad that they're busting on and more towards your bait. And that's exactly what this month is all about. It's about the beginning of the fall feed. They're trying to fatten up um, before they go deep and lethargic of preparing for these long winter months to come. Okay, so which is bringing us to bait number two. And you're going to notice that a lot of these baits are focused mainly on the power fishing side. Uh, in the fall, you like to keep moving. You want to cover as much water as you possibly can because those fish are changing by the minute. Um, you could catch one in two feet of water, catch one in 20 feet of water, and catch one in 10 feet of water. Literally, you can fish just about anywhere this time of year and catch a fish. But, off of my tangent, back to bait number two. This is a square bill. Um, this one happens to be the BX Big Brat from Rapala. These bigger style crankbaits, you're not going to get bit as much, but the bites that you do get are going to be big ones. Um, as for the colors, I like to keep it in a shad style color. So here's like the BX Big Brat. This one is a hardcore, uh, dual hardcore. So that's a shad color. Um, here is another, but this is a Rapala DT Fat. I think these go to like maybe four foot, three foot, something around there. Um, so you're not getting bit on the shad colors, then I like to start switching it up and maybe try more of a bluegill color or maybe a crawdad color. This one happens to be a Strike King uh, square bill. Uh, let's see. And say you can't get bit on any of the above. Say the water temperatures are dropping tremendously and you cannot seem to buy a bite on a square bill. That's when this dude here comes in handy. So this is Ott's um, OG Slim, and it is more of a flat-sided crankbait. And one thing about this color in particular, it seems to me that it shines a lot in the cold water. So as these water temperatures start dropping and they're wanting more of a flat-sided crankbait, these are a perfect option to pick up and to be tossing at these bass. All right, so moving on to bait number three and one of my personal all-time favorites to be throwing. Uh, they shine from right now all the way up until the beginning of the spawning period is a jerk bait. And I cannot say enough about these Rapala Shatter Wraps. This is the Rapala Shatter Wrap Deep. Um, honestly, I'll throw these over a Mega Bass Vision 110 any day of the week. But uh, I can fish these shallow, I can fish them in brush. With this longer bill, they come through cover phenomenally. Again, I can't say enough about them. Um, as for the colors, I like to keep it fairly simple. Again, uh, this is more of a shad. I think this is the pro blue, or pro blue color. Um, I like to keep it fairly simple, guys. Uh, the shad colors, that's pretty much it. Um, say you cannot get bit on the Rapalas. That's when I'm opting in for a smaller size jerkbait. I think this one's the uh, dual hardcore jerkbait. Anywho, so as for these jerkbaits and how I like to fish them, um, say that the bass have that school of shad, they're pushed to the surface, and the bass are sitting somewhere in that five to six foot range. Uh, I like to throw the, these jerkbaits past that school of shad, reel them down into the school or maybe a slightly below the school, and jerk it through. Um, let your fish tell you what the cadence is that they're wanting for that day. But anywho, yeah, I mean, you can throw these on the bank. 
you can throw these down deep give them a shot you'll not regret it these are phenomenal little jug baits all right so moving along uh bait number four and stick around to the end of the video because i'm going to throw two maybe three bonus baits in for you guys there uh but bait number four is definitely going to be a spinner bait um now about three days ago i got on the best spinner bait bite that i've ever had i think i caught 15 fish alone on a spinner bait so they're on it right now if you're not throwing it you're crazy so as for colors of spinner baits definitely not really going to throw this guy as much um this is more if you're faced with the darkest of the dark chocolate milk water that you're going to see uh, that's when I'd be throwing this chartreuse and uh, double Colorado blade. Uh, you're wanting to lean more towards a white, white chartreuse, double willow. Actually, War Eagle Cup has a phenomenal spinner bait. Um, I'll put a link to the description, also like a picture right here I don't have anymore. But uh, if you're not getting bit on those, I would definitely switch to a bluegill style um, color. Uh, sometimes that can make the difference with these spinner baits. But again, spinner baits. Definitely a great choice of baits to be throwing in the month of October. All right, so coming in at bait number five, I know this has probably been a long video, so I appreciate you guys sticking it out. Um, say that you are not worried about the shad, you're not chasing them, you're not worried about the fish that are chasing them. Um, the good thing is this time of year, also the crawfish are you know crawling, so that is another bait that you can mimic. So coming in bait number five, a bottom hopping or bottom dragging football style jig. Um, I like to pair these with a twin style grub uh, as the water gets colder. I like those twin style grub trailers a lot better than I do like a big bulky, uh, maybe rage crawl, something like that. So um, definitely give these a shot. Again, you want to try to uh, throw a little bit of red or if your crawfish have more of a blue color to them, more of a blue, but I like to, again, keep my colors fairly simple. Uh, more of a green pumpkin with a just an accent of some off color. All right, so I know I promised you guys two bonus baits here at the end. So bonus bait number one is going to be an underspin of some kind. Um, I like to interchange these uh, and just kind of figure out what they want. One style that you'll want to throw is a bigger swim bait uh, on these underspins and then also a small, tiny little uh, swim bait. I think this one is a three inch Largo shad and this one here is like a five and a half or 5.3. It's some weird off uh, inch, but it's a uh, Guggen Saucy Swimmer. But um, the way that I like to fish these underspins is uh, say the shad are in that five to six range, your bass are sitting under them somewhere in that 10 to 12 foot range. Uh, I like to say that this is the school of shad. I like to throw it into the school of shad, and as it drops down from the school of shad, a lot of times, more than not, uh, the bass will hit that uh, underspin on the fall before it even hits the ground because as it's swimming down, it looks like a dying shad um, um, coming out of the group. So again, these underspins are a, another great choice to be throwing in the month of October. Okay, so coming in for bonus bait number two, I'm going to pick a lipless crankbait of some kind. This one is a Rapala Rip and Wrap. Um, again, staying in that shad pattern colors. Um, again, I like to throw these in those schools of shad that I'm throwing those underspins in, doing the same exact thing. These look like a dying shad floating through that school, and a lot of times or not, it's going to get hit. It's going to get hammered, like absolutely hammered, before it even hits the ground. So uh, these lipless, or another great choice here is uh, these little dudes. I'll put a link to this. I'll put a link in the description below for these. Uh, again, staying that shad pattern. You're going to notice a lot of that shad pattern baits. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, those are the baits that I'm going to be throwing through the month of October, and I hope that they help you land more fish throughout the month. If you enjoyed this kind of content, you want to see more of it, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite bait is to be throwing throughout the month of October. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.